everyone, welcome to Ecoholics. In our previous video, we have discussed about different types of revenues that is total revenue, marginal revenue and average revenue. In this video, we are going to discuss about the revenue curves in different markets. So let's get started. Now, we are going to find the relationship between TR, AR and MR in three markets that is in case of perfect competition, in monopoly and under monopolistic competition. So let's look at them one by one. So there are two important characteristics of perfect competition. First, in case of perfect competition, our firm is a price taker. And the second important characteristic is all the firms in perfect competition sells homogeneous products. So they sell homogeneous products. Now, in case of perfect competition, a firm is a price taker, which means that the firm is not in a position to influence the price of a product. Why is it so? This is because all the firms in case of perfect competition, they sell homogeneous products. And homogeneous products means they are perfect substitutes for each other. They are perfect substitutes. Now, what happens is, the next question that arises is, how does a firm increase its profits? How can the profits be increased in case of perfect competition? So, a clear answer to this is, a firm can sell more amount of quantity at the same prevailing price. This means that if a firm has to increase profit, then what can he do? He has only one alternative, because the price can't influence the तो वो क्या कर सकता है कि वो अपना क्वांटिटी बढ़ा सकता है एंड उसी प्राइस पे सेल कर सकता है ठीक है तो ये हो गया प्रॉफिट्स की बात तो हमने क्या पढ़ा परफेक्ट कंपटीशन में सो so, हमने पढ़ा परफेक्ट कंपटीशन के अंडर जो हमारा प्राइस होता है वो कांस्टेंट होता है ये होता है प्रीवेलिंग मार्केट प्राइस क्योंकि सारे के सारे फोर्म्स होमोजेनियस प्रोडक्ट सेल करते हैं नाउ इन अ प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव स्टडीड दैट व्हाट अबाउट एवरेज रेवेन्यू नाउ एवरेज रेवेन्यू इज नथिंग बट टोटल रेवेन्यू बाय क्वांटिटी राइट नाउ सो इट इज total revenue by quantity but we know that a total revenue is what price into quantity divided by quantity and therefore what do we get that is our average revenue is equal to price So what we can say is because the price is constant and since the average revenue is equal to price, therefore our average revenue is also constant. Right. Now, coming on to marginal revenue. So what happens to marginal revenue in case of perfect competition? Now, coming on to marginal revenue. What happens to marginal revenue in case of perfect competition? So, we know that marginal revenue 
is the change in total revenue due to change in quantity. So change in total revenue due to change in quantity. So what is total revenue? Total revenue is a product of price and quantity. So अब मार्जिनल रेवेन्यू क्या हो जाएगा हमारा दिस विल बी चेंज इन द टोटल चेंज इन द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी डिवाइडेड बाय चेंज इन क्वांटिटी नाउ फर्दर सिंप्लीफाइंग दिस व्हाट डू वी गेट अस because the price in case of perfect competition remains constant therefore this can also be written as price into change in quantity by change in quantity and therefore our mr is equal to price don't worry if you don't understand this mathematical proof of how mr is equal to price in case of perfect competition we are also going to look at the example so now because mr is equal to price and price is constant in case of perfect competition therefore our mr is also constant so what relation do we get in case of perfect competition the relation that we get is price is equal to average revenue is equal to marginal revenue this is a very important relation this is very very important now we are also going to understand this relation with help of an example now how does our total revenue change in case of perfect competition so what is our total revenue now so now in case of perfect competition our price is constant so as our quantity increases our total revenue will also increase so what we can conclude is as our quantity increases our total revenue also increases and therefore it will be a positively positive sloping line now all this relationships we are also going to understand with help of an example now let's look at this example now in case of perfect competition we know that our price is constant therefore we have taken the same price that is 5 and number of units sold this represents our quantity now coming on to total revenue what is our total revenue our total revenue is our total revenue is price into quantity and what is our marginal revenue our marginal revenue is total revenue of n units minus total revenue of n minus 1 units so we have two formulas for marginal revenue ek formula hota hai that marginal revenue is equal to change in total revenue due to change in quantity and dusra formula hota hai marginal revenue is equal to सो so, ये दो अलग अलग फॉर्मूलाज कब यूज होते हैं ये फॉर्मूला तब यूज होता है जब एक प्रोड्यूसर अपना जो आउटपुट है वो वन यूनिट से इंक्रीज करे एंड ये तब होता है जब वो 
वन यूनिट से ज्यादा आउटपुट इंक्रीज करता है दैट इज दिस इज फॉर मोर देन वन यूनिट्स एंड दिस फॉर्मूला इज वेन द प्रोड्यूसर इंक्रीजेस हिज आउटपुट बाय वन यूनिट नाउ हाउ आर वी गोइंग टू फाइंड द टोटल रेवेन्यू सो इन आर फर्स्ट केस आर प्राइज इज फाइव एंड आर क्वान्टिटी इज वन सो टोटल रेवेन्यू इज सिंपली द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज टू सो टोटल रेवेन्यू विल बी वन इंटू फाइव विच इज फाइव सेकेंड केस टू इंटू फाइव गिवस अस टेन नेक्स्ट थ्री इंटू फाइव गिवस अस फिफ्टीन एंड इन आर लास्ट केस फोर इंटू फाइव गिवस अस ट्वेंटी Now, coming on to marginal revenue. How are we going to find marginal revenue? So, in this case, we need to find. So now, in our first case, it will be TR one minus TR zero. So, TR one is what five, and TR zero that is of zero units. It is always zero. and therefore in a first case marginal revenue and total revenue are equal now coming on to second case in second case we have tr2 minus tr1 so what is tr2 10 minus 5 which is equal to 5 next we have tr3 minus tr2 and this is equal to 15 minus 10 which is again equal to 5 coming on to last case in our last case it will be equal to the marginal revenue will be equal to tr4 minus tr3 so now total revenue of four units that is 20 20 minus 15 gives us again 5 now what do we observe from this table we observe that a price is constant that is 5 and the next thing that we can observe from this table is a marginal revenue is also constant and the second thing is price and marginal revenue are equal in all the cases that is we can conclude that a price is equal to marginal revenue and it is equal to constant which in this case is 5 now we know that price is equal to average revenue as well right so this is what we can observe so mathematically we have seen now we have also seen it uh, through a table also now we are going to plot this so uh, quantity is 1 2 3 4 price is 5 5 5 constant so we have on the x axis we have quantity and on the y axis we have revenue so on the x axis we have quantity or our output and on the y axis we have revenue so we have seen that our quantity is 1 2 3 4 
and let's say if our if we are plotting our marginal revenue curve so the marginal revenue is 5 throughout let's say on the y axis we have 5 10 15, 20, 25. So now our marginal revenue and average revenue curve will look something like this. Right. So this we can plot it as price is equal to marginal revenue is equal to average revenue. So we can say that our demand curve in case of perfect competition is horizontal straight line parallel to x axis. Now coming on to total revenue. So our total revenue for first unit is 5, for second unit is 10, for third unit is 15 and for fourth unit is 20. So, first unit, it is 5. For second unit, it is 10. For third unit, it is 15. And for the fourth unit, it is 20. Now, how is our curve going to look like? So it will look like this. So what we can see is our total revenue curve is a straight line which is positively sloped. So this is how we have derived the relationship between average revenue, total revenue and marginal revenue in case of perfect competition. So let's summarize what we have studied quickly. So in case of perfect competition, In case of perfect competition, we have first this relationship that is price is equal to marginal revenue is equal to average revenue and which is some constant. Second. This will be parallel to x-axis. So, our marginal revenue curve and average revenue curve will be a horizontal straight line parallel to the x-axis. Coming on to total revenue curve. So, our total revenue curve will be a straight straight positively sloping line from the origin straight positive sloping line from origin. Why do we say that it is a positively sloping line from the origin? Because for zero units of output, if he produces zero units, he is going to get nothing. That is the total revenue will be zero. So this completes our case of perfect competition.